my name is Nick. I'm currently a sophomore here at Goucher College studying international relations and economics, and I'll be giving you guys a tour of Goucher College. I'm currently a residential student here on campus, so I'm one of about 150 students living on campus at the moment due to COVID, and I'll be giving you all a tour of Goucher College. Um, I'll be taking you inside of our dining facility. I'll be showing you a lot of the main academic and residential life buildings. And also I'll be showing you guys where I live currently. So let's head out. This is our academic quad. So this houses all of our major academic buildings where the majority of your classes will be here at Goucher. At Meyerhoff Art Center, this houses our communications, our integrated and studio art classes, and also our, th our theater classes. Hopburger Science Building is home to our environmental science, physics, biology and chemistry, and also business and economics courses. Julia Rogers Building and Van Meter Hall are both two interconnected buildings. Not only do they house a lot of our social science courses like political science, international relations, and sociology, but also have our major academic hubs like the ACE or Academic Center for Excellence, which houses a lot of workshops for stress relief, also help with pre-major academic advising, that office is there too. And also Van Meter Hall is home to our exploration hub, which houses three offices, which include the Career Education Office, the Community-Based Learning Office, and also Global Education, and those offices like to put on events throughout the semester to engage students in any of those opportunities that are available on campus. This is our outdoor classroom, so when the weather is really nice outside, like it is today, our professors like to take us outside and have class outside. No problem with that. This is the Van Meter Highway, so this is the break between where we just were, which was the academic part of campus, to now where we're going to enter is the more residential side of campus. This is the Mary Fisher Hall, so not only does this include residence halls, but this is including our Mary Fisher Dining Facility. This is the main dining spot on campus. This houses our student market, which houses a lot of our grab-and-go items, so if you're in the mood for pizza, ice cream, anything grab-and-go, you can get it here and our main dining facility, which is an all-you-can-eat style, station-style buffet, where you can go to different stations to get a lot of different foods, and you can even make your own bowl. The Athenaeum, which is arguably my favorite spot on campus, houses a lot of different facilities, like our peer-led um, quantitative reasoning and writing centers, our library, the Hyman Forum, and also our bookstore, and the Alice's Cafe or restaurant. So this is our library, which is arguably my favorite spot on campus to go to. What we call stacks, and every stack has a dedicated quiet area and also has dedicated social areas. So if you want to do group studying, you want to do private studying, or you just want to lay down on a couch and relax, you can do that here in the library. The Hyman Forum is home to a lot of our bigger events. So we have a lot of lecture series that come here. We also do a lot with student involvement and study abroad fairs come here. And also the student engagement team likes to put on a winter carnival every spring semester here. Alice's Cafe is what I like to call Goucher Starbucks. So this is home to a lot of our coffee, teas, smoothies, and I need pastries and breakfast sandwiches. And you also can use your dining dollars and meal plans here as well. So the Goucher College store is home to all of our Goucher merch. You also can get your textbooks, notebooks, pens, and pencils. You also can get any like necessary like dining, any like snacks and drinks and any like household necessities. So I'm going to be taking you back to my dorm, which is Welsh Hall. But before we, I take you inside, I want to show you what outside looks like because it's really nice out and you'll see some students occasionally throwing frisbees and laying out in the grass and just de-stressing because it's currently finals. Um, Welsh Hall is home to our um, upperclassmen housing, which includes suite and apartment style, and I'm going to show you inside. So this is what my room looks like. It's a little bit messy at the moment, but this is what a traditional suite looks like. It, there's traditionally four beds, but I have the whole room to myself and I get a lot more space and it's really nice. And I also get my own private bathroom and also private showers so I don't have to worry about using a communal shower with other students. This is Hubeck Hall. So this is known for our upperclassmen housing, but also houses our public safety office, student counseling, and also the office of residential life. 
This is the residential quad, so this is where all of our residence halls connect and also a great hangout spot for students. This is the first year village, so this is where all first year students come and live at Goucher. So whether you're a first year, coming out of high school, a transfer student, or a gap year student, you'll be living in one of these three residence halls. And also is a great way to connect with other first year students who are also coming to Goucher. You get to have a lot of programming events over the year. You get to meet a lot of different people from different backgrounds. And it's also a really great place to hang out. And it's recently our new renovated dorms. So our three residence halls include P-Cells, Trustees, and Fireside. So you'll get placed into one of these three residence halls. So this is our SRC, or the Student Recreation Center. So this is where our gym, our indoor pool, our sauna, our basketball courts, and our weight training centers are here. They're free to all students and you don't have to be an athlete to use them. They're free to all students, you don't have to worry about that. You also have access to our tennis courts and in the back we actually have an equestrian barn where you can see a lot of our horses and you actually can take equestrian classes here. So one little hot spot I forgot to talk about is the Great Lawn. So this is home to one of our biggest traditions here at Goucher, which is called Gig or Get Into Goucher that's held every spring. And before then, it's a great social area for students to hang out, have picnics. Sometimes you'll see students playing frisbee or just laying out on the grass. This is Frolicker Hall, so this is home for our upperclassmen housing and also some of our special interest housing. And also a great area for students to hang out, have some lunch, get some sunshine, and just another great social area. This is the Dorsey College Center, so this houses some of our main offices, which include the admissions office, the student financial services office, as well as Crawshaw Auditorium, Merrick Lecture Hall, and Rosenberg Gallery. So in the Crawshaw Auditorium, this houses our new student orientation and our graduation depending on weather. Our Rosenberg Gallery is our student art gallery, and our Merrick Lecture Hall is home to one of our biggest traditions that is held every fall, which is known as the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Thank you for joining me on this tour of Goucher College with me, and feel free to subscribe to Niche Social for more videos.